Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nancy Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a Bible flip through slash review of one of my Bibles that a young lady in my group asked me to make a video on. And it's on the Everyday Matters Bible for Women that I got from Tyndall. And it looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. So it looks like this, and this is not a study Bible. Um, I just want to say that it's not a study Bible, but it is a good Bible. It has practical encouragement to make every day matter. Um, like I said, it's an NLT translation, and it's not from Tyndall. Sorry, it's from Hendrix Hendrickson Bibles. And um, I like this Bible because it has a lot of different practice practices, practices, um, twenty four different spiritual practices, which I'll quickly just run through with you guys. And I got this Bible uh, May 2017, so it's been a year since I've had this Bible. And um, I actually need to start using this a lot more. But where is that page at? Hmm. Okay, so there are 24 spiritual practices within this book, which are acceptance, Bible study and meditation, celebration, community, confession, contemplation, faith, fasting, forgiveness, gratitude, hospitality, justice, mentoring, outreach, prayer, reconciliation, Sabbath and rest, which are one, service silence simplicity solitude stewardship submission and worship um i really like this bible it has different type of articles um you have your everyday matters articles which are two-page articles that focus on key part on a key part of understanding or using spiritual practice you have everyday profiles which are basically stories of women of the bible basically kind of like a biblical profile of a woman in the bible everyday reflections which are kind of like applications on applying the word to your life and then everyday q and a's which are practical answers to important questions um of faith and this bible has a lot of different people in it um you have liz curtis higgs richard foster nancy or ortberg k k warren uh priscilla shire which i love and a whole bunch of other people um I really like this Bible. It's a nice Bible. There are a tons of different articles. That's this one. It has a little balloon on the top, and I forgot what the balloon symbolizes, but we'll get into that. Um, again, this is not a study Bible. It's just a regular old Bible. Um, there are no study notes in this Bible whatsoever, but um, I do like it. It retails. I don't know how much I got this for. I honestly can't remember. It is a hardcover Bible, so you can take off the dust jacket. Um, and it just looks like that. But I am now going to flip the camera around and we're going to dive through. Um, I do utilize this Bible when I'm watching online sermons, um, such as Transformation Church or Heather Lindsay, or um, I, if I'm watching uh, Potter House Denver, or I forgot the other Potter House, but when I'm watching like sermons online on youtube i use this bible for that but um yeah we're gonna flip the camera around and take a peek inside this bible okay guys so i'm here with the bible and like i said this is the every day matters every day matters bible for women practical encouragement to make every day matter in the nlt translation and it is from hendrickson bibles if you can see here Here's what the back of it looks like, and um, I'll quickly just read it. It says, because every day matters. We are so busy handling the challenges of day-to-day -day life that spending time in the Word can easily become another should among a long list of daily must. The Everyday, Bibles for everyday Matters Bible for Women is designed to help you develop spiritual practices that will make everyday activities richer, not harder. Based on spiritual practices that enable us to focus our thoughts on discovering the heart of God, this Bible offers practical encouragement and tools to renew and reinvigorate daily life. The clear contemporary language of the New Living Translation, combined with the content from today's foremost Christian thinkers, helps readers understand and apply these spiritual practices. So here are the features. So like I said, you get 24 practices and here are a few of them. They are in these colored kind of squabble boxes. And then you have over 300 articles, but each article is broken down into four different types. So you have your everyday matters, which is kind of like a two page article that focuses on a key part of understanding or using a spiritual practice, as you can see here. Then you have your everyday profiles, which is basically a biblical profile of a woman in the Bible that also focuses on a specific kind of spiritual practice. The same thing with the everyday reflection. Um, it's a selection that shows how to apply God's word in your life. 
and then everyday Q and A's, which are basically practical answers to important questions. Other additional features that they have are full color printing throughout, book introductions, how to use the Bible, and like a small group study, index of scriptural scriptural practices and resources for further reading. And I think that's pretty much it. This is not a study Bible, like I said. Um, it's just not. This is a basic kind of everyday Bible with a few resources in between. Other things I want to mention quickly are that the text is a nine-point font with the note size being an eight-point font. There are no gilded pages. It's completely black letter text. And um, I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to quickly just talk through. Oh, no, the price. Haha. <laughs> The price so you can grab this bible from christianbook.com which i'll leave a link down below for twenty dollars and 99 cents and um it normally retails for 34.95 if i'm not mistaken yes they do come in hardcover which is what i have and you can get it in so okay so the hardcover is actually 18 bucks the soft cover is going to be 20.99 and then you can get a deluxe edition that is 46 dollars and 99 cents and the deluxe edition actually looks pretty. I'll probably insert a picture on the screen of what that looks like. But it's a really pretty Bible. But um, that's pretty much it. So I guess we can dive into this. So this is the hardcover. Like I said, I do have the dust jacket. So you can always just take the dust jacket off. And um, it pretty much looks the same. So I'm actually going to do that. Take off the dust jacket. And quickly showing you guys... Um, these are the different practices, which I will dive deeper into. And I hope you guys are seeing this clear enough. Let me get a second. Hopefully that's clear enough. I wiped off the, um, the lens because I felt like it was a little blurry. But um, these are the different 24 practices on, on, um, in this Bible. So, I am going to flip through this Bible quickly, but I just want to cover up my name, which I probably should have did from the start. But yeah, so when you open it up, <laughs> sorry about all that. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. Um, I just stick a little tabs here just in case I need them. So you have these sheets of paper, which are blank, which are great for like notes. And then you have your presentation page. So with that... You can put your name, your date, and as you can see, I got this on May 5th, 2017, the occasion, and then it has Psalms 119, 105. Your word is a lamp. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. So that's that. And the presentation page is pretty nice. Okay. Then Everyday Matters Bibles for Women. Again, it's from Hendrickson Bible, but it is in the NLT translation. And again, these are the different ones you can get. The hardcover, the deluxe hardcover, the rose floral with khaki flexi soft. And um, it is in the NLT. Again, this is the second printing. So this is a 2013 edition of the NLT translation. Then you have your content. So you have a note to the readers, an introduction to the NLT, um, the Holy Bible NLT translation, transforming everyday matters into a life that matters every day, how to use the Bible. Then you have your Old Testament, New Testament, and then some quick resources at the bottom. On the back of that, you have the alphabetical order of the Bible. So it's not, and it's can I think it's canonical order. I think that's how you pronounce that word. <laughs> um, a note to the readers, which I haven't even read yet about the NLT translation the team that helped with this translation you get some information about the Bible itself and then the spiritual disciplines which I am going to run through that with you guys so hopefully this is in frame enough for you guys to see but um, the practices are as such oh, let me actually fix this Zoom in quickly. Auto focus one more time. Okay. Hopefully that's better. But the first practice is acceptance. Then you have Bible study and meditation, celebration, community, confession, contemplation, faith, fasting, forgiveness, gratitude, 
hospitality, justice, mentoring, outreach, prayer, reconciliation, Sabbath and rest, which are completely one, service, silence, simplicity, solitude, stewardship, submission, and worship. Those are, oops, sorry about that, you guys. Those are all of the 24 different spiritual practices that they um, go through in this Bible. You get uh, how to use this Bible and um, practice by practice, Bible study basics, and then other options that they give you. Then you jump straight into the Old Testament. Now, these Bible tabs I have in here are from uh, Amazon. I got them from Amazon. These are the floral editions from, I think, Ella Marie is her name or Elle Marie. I can't remember the lady's name, but I'll put uh, down below where you can get it on Amazon because I got a bunch of her Bible tabs. So all the Bible tabs you see in all of my Bibles come from the same company. Um, I'll leave them linked down below. But that's where the Bible tabs are. I will say these Bible tabs were not um, printed correctly. As you guys can see, oh, probably not, but up here. It wasn't printed correctly, but um, it doesn't really bother me as much just because everything else is perfectly fine. Okay. Old Testament. So, again, it says it gives you an introduction. So, here's the introduction to Genesis. You get um, the background information, the basic purpose or message of the book, some information about the timing and location, and then you get an outline, which of course is always useful to have an outline. And then you go straight into it. So after the introduction, on the same page, you're going to get a one-column kind of reading of the Bible, and then you go into a two-column reading. You do have your footnotes at the bottom. So again, the text is a nine-point font, and then this is supposed to be an eight-point font. I'm not too sure about that. I feel like that's like a seven, but um, it says eight. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, this is the Bible that I use when I'm um, watching my online sermon. So like when I'm watching sermons from Transformation Church and the pastor at that church is Pastor Michael Todd. Or when I'm listening to Heather Lindsay or if I'm listening to Sarah Jake Roberts. Um, this is the Bible that I use just because it's an easier translation. And I know that Transformation Church actually uses this, transformation, this translation a lot. So um, I just decided to make this kind of like my online YouTube kind of sermon Bible where I can go in and do what I do now originally I was using this to study when I was doing John and Romans which you will see down the line but um like all this stuff that I circled here and underlined was when I was doing the uh I think it's relationship goals series from Transformation Church so here's an example of that sort of what was it called the everyday Q&A and then also a sample of the everyday profile so the question, um, the main idea is the true meaning of helper, and this is about acceptance. They're both on acceptance, as you can see. Um, this will focus on a specific scripture based on the pages. So this is for Genesis 2, 18 to 22. And then it says, Genesis describes God, Genesis describes God creating Eve to be a helper for Adam. What does that really mean? And it basically breaks down what um, a helper is and then at the bottom it says for more on acceptance see reading at uh, Genesis 218 to 320 and that's basically referring to this kind of article I guess you would say um, and also to continue reading it obviously but then here you have um, this is the everyday profile and this is about Eve the self before sin acceptance and it tells you the scripture and um, you would just read that about her. And I like that they tell you the person that wrote it and give you more things to write. So for more on acceptance, see reading at Genesis 39 verses 19 to 23. So you would go to that page for that article. So here is another article. This would be an everyday kind of matters article. This is on inner conversation, which is basically a prayer. And um, you would read that and it tells you the scriptures. So just understand and know that Every article that you see throughout here is 300 articles, but every article corresponds to the actual scripture on the two pages that you're going to see, which I love that they do that because some articles don't do that in Bibles. They're just like all over the place and then you have to like go back pages to get to certain articles. But um, that is an everyday matters if I'm not mistaken. This is, oh sorry, no, this is actually everyday reflections. Let's go back. So yeah, this is an everyday reflections. Um, so you've seen an everyday Q&A, you've seen an everyday reflections, you've seen the profile, 
let's see if I can find one. This one is on Hey Guy. Let's see if I can find an Everyday Matters um, article. Because those articles are actually two pages. I'm not sure if there are any in Genesis. So here's Exodus. Okay, so here we go. This is an Everyday Matters two-page article. So this is how it looks. It's a two-page article that you can read. It gives you the specific scriptures. It gives you the actual um, spiritual practice at the top. And it's a bunch of writing, and I really, really love this stuff. So that is the Everyday Matters two-page article. This would be your Everyday Reflections, which is basically how to apply the Word of God to your life. Let's see if I can flip through and find the other articles. Again, our Everyday Reflections all about applying the Word of God to your life. Another two-page article. Another two-page article. And I'm not going to say that I've read all of these articles because I definitely have not, like, at all. But, um, let's go to Ruth. So here's Ruth. I mean, so it's it's a basic Bible um, with no real notes to it, but I do find it helpful, of course. So I'm going to skip to John, because I believe that's when I started using this, yes. So again, for you guys who don't know, before I started using a journaling Bible, I used regular Bibles. Um, study Bibles are just plain reference Bibles or whatever. This is one of the Bibles that I used when I started studying John, and as you can see, I was underlining, highlighting, um, using sticky notes, writing in the margins, like you guys can see. This is how I started journaling Bible without an actual journal Bible, journaling Bible. Um, this one was becoming a mentor disciple. Uh, it's about mentoring, and I did read through. I don't think I read all of it through, but I did read through it. And so you guys can see, like, I was, I was taking notes and writing in the margins. So you do not need an actual journal Bible. All you need is a Bible with good amount of margin space. And if it doesn't have a good amount of margin space, use a notebook or some paper. And I'm going to show you guys in another video how I do that, so stay tuned for that. But um, you guys can see sticky notes all over the place. And these sticky notes are Hema sticky notes, so I did get them from the UK. Um, through Etsy. You search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life, but the scriptures point to me. I like that. That is um, from John 5, 39, when I think he was talking to the Pharisees. Um, I just love, I love, love, love. Then they, then they were eager to let him in the boat, and immediately they arrived at their destination. And this was basically when Jesus was walking on the water to them, so... This is about solitude, having time alone. And um, we know that Jesus always had spent time alone. And I wrote something here. Um, yeah, just I, Like I said, I haven't used this Bible quite often as much as I want to. Um, but just looking and flipping through back through John as I studied it, it's amazing what I can find. And all of these markings did have a specific meaning. I don't even think I had the actual color code chart. No, it's not in here. So they all had a specific meaning of like the colors and stuff. But abundant simplicity about Martha. So I tabbed that because I did want to read that article. I haven't yet. Jesus style service. Untidy, Mysterious Faith. That's a good article. I need to read this. Making Time for God's Word. That That's a good one. And like I said, I've had this Bible since 2017. I haven't gone completely through it, like, at all. But. Alright, let's jump to Romans, because I studied Romans in this as well. It wasn't as in-depth as... John, but you guys can see like the underlining and the colors. I mean, so I think this is a really good um, 
Bible to have. It's not a study Bible, so keep that in mind. You're not going to have um, commentary at the bottom or anything to help you understand words. Um, this is still a good Bible to, you know, to have. Um, so I'm going to go to the back of the Bible. So we're at the end of Revelation. So then you have this kind of article on how to use this Bible in a small group study. And I think this is a good one if you're doing like a personal study at home with like your family and your friends or even at church. Um, this would be a good one to take with you just because it has those 24 spiritual practices and you can really break those down. Um, so it gives you like questions that you might include in it. Information for the profiles, how to apply what you learn, and then this is the index of the spiritual practices. So, if you're looking for a specific uh, article on a specific practice, you can come back here, look through the different practices. So, for Bible study and meditation, you can come here and go to Joshua 1 7 through 9, and this is about meeting God in scripture or hiding God's word in your heart. You can go to Psalms 119 9 through 6, and it'll give you an article. If you want a profile on like a woman, um, Let's see. We can do community. Um, you can go, if you want something about a woman on community, you would go to find Miriam, which is in Numbers 12, and you would read that article. So, I like that it does that. This is on Faith. You have Sarah and Martha. On Fasting, you have Esther, which we know Esther, um, Queen Esther did fast for three days when her and her people were going through some strife concerning um, Haman so we understand that you have this one here which is Naaman's servant I don't know anything about Naaman at all but you know Leah on gratitude so I really like that it does that submission you have the widow of I can't pronounce that word but yeah Yep, 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 yep. Um, then you have all about the contributors to this. So Caroline Ahrens, Susan Arico, Holly Baker Lutz, Jeanette Bake, Tracy Blazer, um, Richard J. Foster, Heather Holman, which I do know, Liz Curtis, which I do know, Cynthia Hell, I've heard about her before. So if you guys hear that vibration, that is my cell phone. Let me actually put my cell phone on mute for the time being. So I like that this is not just written by women. Um, there are men who wrote in this as well, but it's focused mainly on women um, that wrote it. Eugene Patterson, he has some really great um, Bible studies on Mary, Martha, and Ruth. Sorry, Mary... Esther and Ruth, but they're also like coloring Bible studies as well. Um, I really like those. I haven't colored in them, but I do like that. I've heard of Shauna Neoquist before. I've heard of her. Um, so, you know, this is a great place to just look through in the back. And Voskamp wrote some stuff. Um, Priscilla Shire wrote some stuff in here. Kay Warren wrote some stuff. Gary Thomas wrote some stuff. So this is a great place to come, Philip Yancey. I actually just got a book from him. Um, this is a great place to look in the back when you want to look for other authors out there who are in the faith. Um, this is your acknowledgement section. And this is for further reading. Um, so books that you can look up for further understanding, which I think is that great that they included that. And I think that's it. Yeah, then you have just a bunch of blank pages in the back so this bible does not have a concordance it does not have your typical kind of charts and timelines and um breakdown of things it has none of that so um like i said this is a real basic bible like basic upon basic uh kind of bible i'm not sure who edited this bible so let's look through that together at the pentateuch um I can't find where it says who specifically edited this Bible, but um, it says the editors. So I think the editors are 
yeah, Mark R. Norton and Philip W. Comfort. Those are the editors of this Bible, um, but it is from Hendrickson's Bible, and um, yeah, I adore this Bible. I think it's a really great Bible to own. It doesn't have all the, you know, the basic stuff like a concordance and the maps and stuff that all of us love, but um, I think this is a good one just to have on your shelf when you're looking for something that has a lot more articles that pertain to making the Word of God more practical for us, because as women, we have so many roles, mothers, sisters, daughters, um, most of us work, some of us are entrepreneurs, like, we have so many different roles, and we can get bogged down by those roles, and wanting to separate the roles, and, you know, doing so much with to-do lists and planners, this Bible really helps you to spend time in the Word of God without looking at the other aspects of it, it isn't an NLT translation, so it's an easy translation to understand, but, um, would I recommend this for studying? No, because it's not a study Bible, but it is useful with the articles that are in, in, um, incorporated in this. So, I love this Bible. I really do like the um, pattern of it, the floral print. I just, I thought it was a pretty Bible. And I actually saw this Bible from another lady who um, kind of like walked through it. And if I can find that video, I will leave the video down below. That actually encouraged me, myself, to get this Bible. But um, it does come with a ribbon. I didn't show you guys that. It does come with a ribbon marker, and I have my ribbon right at my favorite scripture, which is Psalms 91. The whole complete chapter of um, 91 is my favorite, but it's just this gorgeous kind of fuchsia pink um, satin ribbon. I really like that ribbon a lot, and I keep it there at all times because that's like a go-to scripture for me. But um, Psalms 91, and oopsie, <laughs> that is it for this so, do I recommend this Bible? Yes, I do. If I can find it on Amazon, I will leave a link down below for Amazon. But you can check this out on ChristianBook.com. And that is pretty much it for this video. So, check this Bible out if you want. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!